Hi, this is Eva Christofferson with the Quantum Astrology Report for uh, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th of November 2017. The 22nd, the Sun will be at zero degrees of Sagittarius, going into Sagittarius. Uh, and then one, two, three degrees of Sagittarius. The moon, the 22nd, will be in mid Capricorn in conjunction with Pluto, transiting Pluto. And then the moon that will move on in Capricorn and in Aquarius, and the 25th, the moon will catch up the south node, a conjunction between the moon, our emotions, and the south node, our origin, in Sagittarius, sorry, in Aquarius, the quantum room, the field, the quantum field, the new age of Aquarius. So we start the 22nd because um, the two huge occasions here, the sun into Sagittarius, uh, the sun leaving the emotional rebirthing deep water Scorpio, going into the wisdom, the quantum knowledge, the truth uh, of Sagittarius, the higher wisdom. Uh, and the ruler of Sagittarius is Jupiter, and Jupiter is in Scorpio, so the Scorpio transformation will go on. But now we will have Sun, Mercury, and Saturn in Sagittarius. We have the 22nd, then the moon at Pluto. And that's big emotional transformation, Capricorn. Mm. We will see what will happen the 22nd. We also have Neptune stationary. It has been retrograde Neptune, the quantum spirit planet in Pisces, the quantum spirit sign for a long time now, the 22nd, the Neptune is stationary to soon will go direct, a forward motion, not that inwardly. So we can hopefully be even more in the source, outgoing in that creation. Uranus at late. Uh, areas is still very active. Uh, I forgot to draw a quantum tarot card last time, so this time I will draw one for this situation, Sun going into Sagittarius and Neptune stationary, and Pluto connect, conjunction the Moon. For the 22nd, uh, all data given is in Central European time noon here in Europe, mid-Europe. So I would take a quantum tarot card for the, the sun in Sagittarius. And it's, uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, it's eight of wands. <coughs> so I will check that one up. And this is the supernova. Wow, <laughs> a supernova, yeah, that's huge. Uh, that's when a very large star and its life in a gigantic explosion. And every atom above lithium is created in a supernova. So atoms in your body and my body is coming from a supernova occurring earlier in this place of this universe. So we are star dust. Uh, not only energetic, yeah, both energetic uh, and uh, physically, because energy is matter. Uh, this car, it's uh, it's a lesson in channeling and focusing the fire into productive adventures.
focusing, channeling the fire we have within. That's a good, good way of applying the Sagittarius higher wisdom fire. To focus and channeling the fire within to be productive. Mm. I also started with Nordic runes. I will keep them <coughs> to the, my Swedish channel, Fantastology. But uh, just as an example, I will draw a rune. That's the Nordic Icelandic runes. Uh, perhaps you've heard about that. And uh, Thor, it's uh, the Blix and Thunder God. It's a movie going on with him. It's too violent for my sake, but in one way, we are all going into becoming superheroes here on Earth in this ascension. In a psychic way, a telepathic way, time traveling, making dimension uh, jumps, etc. Creating in a new way. That's the true superhero knowledge of Sagittarius. And I will draw from the runes are here, runic symbols. I will draw, I have stones with runes on. I will draw one for <coughs> the 22nd of November here, Sun into Sagittarius. And it's this one. It's like this. I will check what it's about. That one is, oh, this one is prosperity. That's great, prosperity. And these room symbols, usually uh, the method is to draw three with your intuition and to throw them on a circle and to see what patterns they make and then the interpretation of the symbols. <clears throat> and it's a lot about the nature in here. Uh, sun, moon, but also the nature like elsh, like uh, birch, the tree, like ice, symbolizing different internal material. So, uh, that's the Nordic runes. Today, then, the 22nd of uh, November, we, I will share that and I will uh, check that with you. So here is the 22nd of November, 12 o'clock in Europe. And uh, we have sun at zero degrees of Sagittarius. And it's not many aspects to the sun, so it can be a loneliness here uh, at the beginning of this process. Uh, we have with Osiris, the king of the underworld of Scorpio. And you have Jupiter here, nine degrees of Scorpio. Uh, and in a trine, coming up to a close trine to Neptune, and Neptune will <coughs> soon be stationary still are here, but it will be stationary and going direct during these days. And this trine here, a lot of dreams. So uh, one way is to journal them, I do that. I dreamt a lot this night about my inner child and about uh, babies. That's great. So channel and uh, dream. We have Venus still left in Scorpio, in uh, coming up to uh, trying to the wounded healer, Chiron. Then we have, of course, the gigantic black uh, <laughs> uh, hole in the middle of Milky Way, the galactic center here, Sagittarius in Sagittarius with Mercury coming up here. Our mind, our communication, our thought consciousness, connecting with the galactic center and with our reality and with our uh, integrity and with our uh, testing, our three-dimensional world. 
and it's in a square to carry on the wounded healer to heal our spiritual wounds the mind to silent the mind to relax to be in the source to use the source power to create from Uranus Uranus is also it's in a trine a very close trine to Saturn and Mercury here the quantum I am the codes from Andromeda the uh, quantum room planet the quantum I am areas the creation the individual creation of your own reality and Mars is coming up to an opposition of this divine masculine in the Libra sign of balance justice and quantum relationships so you will have a great energy here and it's a, <clears throat> it's a T-square here. Pluto and Moon, Mars and Uranus. A lot of energy transforming your divine masculine energy and your emotions. Uh, the 25th, the Moon will have reached uh, the South Node, giving us an emotional origin and a possibility to reach the North Node I spoke about last time with unconditional love using the skip step of Pluto, the squares of Pluto here positively. The Pluto in the Scorpio. So to use your divine feminine positively to create your own individual reality your illumination your royal star your leo mm. if you are interested in the skip step reading it's still an introduction price check details below and the skip steps what's then if you have a planet like venus here in square to the nodes and it, in earlier life you who has this but chart pattern have been flip-flopping between the south and north node, not achieving them. So this is a very important message from your soul that you can correct this. You can do this by your intuition. You don't need astrology. But astrology can give you a supreme awareness and way to reveal how to manage these energies. And if you have been feeling stuck in a box, not or still feels that you are stuck in a box, you can't find a way out, you can't find your purpose, check your birth chart. So many of my clients has this uh, skip step. And it can be a real important help to know about how to handle these energies. And it's, if you have a skip step in your birth chart, it's the most important message of them all in the birth chart. And I would love to help you to reveal that for yourself. So check the details below the skip step uh, reading. So thank you for today and uh, have a really great Thanksgiving, the 23rd of November with sun at one degrees of scope of Sagittarius, the higher wisdom, truth, and knowledge of the quantum Sagittarius. Be well. Bye-bye.